The date is November 8th, 2018. The Carolina Panthers are 6-2 and, and Cam Newton is playing at an MVP level with 19 total touchdowns to just 4 interceptions. But for Cam and the Panthers, things are about to change forever. On this date, the Panthers play the Pittsburgh Steelers and get blown out 52-21, but the final score is not the story here. It's what happens late in the second quarter. As Cam drops back to pass, TJ Watt goes unblocked and gets the sack, obliterating Newton's throwing shoulder in the process. And after this hit, Cam Newton was never the same. This game would be the start of a 7-game losing streak, as the Panthers would finish 7-9 after a 6-2 start. Newton would tough it out and play most of these games, missing the final two before having surgery in January. He would play just two more games for the Panthers in 2019, before joining the Patriots for a year in 2020. The Patriots would cut him during the 2021 preseason, and he would rejoin the Panthers later on in the year after an injury to Sam Darnold. Flash forward to the present day, and the Panthers still don't have an answer at the quarterback position. Baker Mayfield was a mess. PJ Walker wasn't any better. Sam Darnold has flashed, but his overall resume does not inspire any optimism. And Cam Newton is a free agent. But what if this wasn't the case? What if Cam Newton was still the same superstar who took the league by storm and revolutionized the quarterback position? What if the 2022 Carolina Panthers were led by Cam Newton in his prime? Let's find out. Now the premise for today's video is simple. We're taking the 2022 Carolina Panthers, setting them back to the preseason. So Christian McCaffrey is still here. Matt Rule is still the head coach. He hasn't been fired yet. And we are going to give them Cam Newton as he stands in his prime. I did a little bit of digging and the highest that Cam Newton ever was rated in Madden that I could find was a 92, which does feel a little bit low for a guy who won MVP in 2015. So I'm bumping him up slightly to a 93 overall. This makes him firmly the fifth highest rated quarterback in the game. He is a superstar X factor. I feel this is deserved. So now that we've got prime Cam Newton here on the squad, let's look and see how the rest of the team is looking. So this is what Cam's got to work with here. Christian McCaffrey, one of the best and most electric running backs in the league, still on the team. DJ Moore, 86 overall superstar. I think Cam and DJ Moore should do amazing things together this year. LaVisca Chanel is the two. I'm not incredibly impressed by that, but that's okay. Ian Tom Thomas at the tight end position, and then the offensive line, it's not amazing, but I definitely think Cam has seen worse throughout his career. Uh, Ika McWanu is going to be a great left tackle for us. Taylor Moten is good enough at the right tackle position. And then the interior, it's all replacement level. Austin Corbett is okay, but I think that we have enough of a team to get this done. I think that we can make the playoffs with Prime Cam. This is a team that started incredibly poorly with Baker Mayfield and Matt Rule. Uh, they fired Matt Rule, got rid of Baker, and since then, they've really leaned on the ground game since trading McCaffrey, Deontay Foreman, and Chuba Hubbard. They've done great things for them. Sam Darnold has stepped up in a major way, but we don't need to worry about that. We've got Cam Newton, we've got Christian McCaffrey. The only question is, can Matt Rule get it done? The defense is interesting. You've got Brian Burns, he is an immediate stud for us. JC Horn, who has played at a high level this year when healthy. Jeremy Chin is an intriguing player. I think he's going to do great things for us. Not to mention Derek Brown, Shaq Thompson. Couple minor holes here at the free safety, well, not even really at the free safety position. I would say middle linebacker and DT2 are not ideal. We could use another edge rusher opposite Brian Burns. But overall, I think that this team has a lot of hope. I think that we can get things done here. So here's the plan. We're going to go game by game for this rebuild. This is just going to be a single season, unless this is something that's really popular for some reason. If anyone wants me to do a full five-year rebuild with Prime Cam, if that is a popular option, I'm definitely open to it. But we're going to go game by game here. 2022 NFL season, take the real life results and compare them to what we're able to get done. Okay, now here we are in week one. We do have an 81 overall team going up against the Cleveland Browns. We'll get into that matchup in just a moment, but let's first here set a couple of our goals. First thing is the season goal. I definitely think we can make the playoffs. The Panthers made it close with the Buccaneers, and don't get me wrong, I think in stream, or excuse me, not stream, in sim, the Buccaneers are probably going to be a lot better than they have been in real life, just because of the level of talent that Madden sees on the team. So I don't know that nine and eight is going to be good enough to win the division but i don't know that we'll be an eight nine win team 
with prime cam, I think that we've got a chance. My guess would be 11 and 6. 10 and 7, 11 and 6. I think that that is a realistic expectation for us. And I definitely think this is a good enough team to make the playoffs. Let's do our opening day keys here. So here we need to decide what is the key to victory here today. I'm actually going to go, I know it's a cam rebuild or a cam video. We're actually going to go stifling defense because we want to shut down the Browns. We want to specifically disrupt the pass. Outside of Amari Cooper and David Njoku, I don't feel that the Browns have a whole lot going on in the receiving game. So I definitely think 200 yards passing, I mean, that's a tall order, but I definitely think we can do it. So the way we're going to do this is every single week, we'll take a look at how the Panthers actually performed in real life, and we'll compare it to now how we're doing with Cam Newton at the starting quarterback position. So week one against the Browns, just to give a quick summary, the Panthers lost this game 26-24. Baker Mayfield went 16 of 27, 235 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Can we outdo that? Can we beat the Browns and start off 1-0? Let's find out. Okay, so unfortunately the first game of the season is an L, 32-21, decently close to how things played out in real life. We're going to take a quick look at Cam's stats. That's what we'll do each week. We're not going to get into every single detail, but we will look and see how Cam is doing after each game. So let's take a look at that. So here are your quarterback stats from the game. So Cam Newton, passer rating of 80.6, 221 passing yards, a touchdown, and an interception. So actually decently close to Mayfield's numbers week one. Uh, of course, the difference being Deshaun Watson starts this game, not Jacoby Brissett. Although I would like to see our offense put up a little bit more than the 21 points that they did. Not a single point in the second half. I don't love to see that, but regardless, we're on to week two. And just like real life, the Panthers are coming into this week two matchup with the Giants 0-1. And they lose this game as well, 16-19. Mayfield does not do well this game. 14 of 29, 145 yards, and one score. I definitely think we can outperform that. As far as getting a win, though, we've just got to cross our fingers here. Can we get to 1-1? One and one? Let's find out. And even though, just quickly, I know we don't care a ton about other players' stats. We're mainly focused on Cam. Here's Brian Burns, week one. He did win NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Five tackles, three sacks. So shout out Brian Burns. Great job from him. Okay, and so far, real life is matching the sim. We are 0-2, 24-21 as we get taken down by the Giants. Let's look at Cam's stats again. And again, just not a great day for Cam. 212 yards, a touchdown, an interception. One thing that I am beginning to wonder about is the playbook. Um, as we know, Matt Rule was not a good NFL coach. And I know that I said we're starting with preseason everything, Christian McCaffrey, Matt Rule, everything that changed during the season. But I think one or two more weeks, I would be willing to change the playbook. I think I would go Ravens just to let Cam run it around a little bit get some of those rushing yards that I know helps his game so much. So that is something that I am considering. But as of right now, we're 0-2. And next up, we've got a week three matchup with the Saints. So the Panthers did win this one in real life, 22-14. Mayfield, though, again, underwhelming, 12 of 25, 170 yards and a score. He really was bad with the Panthers. When you look at these numbers, they're just garbage. Anyways, though, can we also get this done just like the Panthers did in real life? Can we get ourselves to one and two? Let's find out. And yes, we do get the victory. Crisis averted. We are 1-2, 35-17. Good win over the Saints. Let's look at Cam's stats now. And here they are. So Cam finally shaking off that rust. 235 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. I do want to look at the receiving stats just briefly since I know Cam was finally slinging it. Rashard Higgins, he scored. LaVisca Chenault scored twice. And uh, Tommy Tremble. Did I call him Ian Tremble earlier? Who did I? I don't know. Tommy Tremble, oh, no, there he is, Ian Thomas. That's who I was talking about. I was going to say I know who Tommy Tremble is. But regardless, we get the victory. We are finally in the win column. We are one and two. And that brings us to a week four matchup with the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this was another loss for the Panthers. It sent them to one and three. 26-16, Mayfield went 22 of 36, 197 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. So again, Rough game for Mayfield, but can we get the victory over the Cardinals? Let's find out. 
Okay, and look at this. We've got our first result differing from real life of the series so far. Week four, Arizona Cardinals, we get the victory 35-14. Let's go ahead and look at Cam's stats from the game. So again, two straight games over 30 points. You love to see that. I do want to see here Cam's numbers though. Hopefully they are looking similar to how they did last week. So yeah, that is an interesting pattern. We start the year with two straight games scoring exactly 21 and then two straight exactly 30. That is interesting. And Cam Newton stats here. Very nice. Very efficient. 224 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Love to see that. We get the easy victory and we're moving on. Okay, next up, San Francisco 49ers. Real life, this was a pretty ugly loss. 37-15 final score dropped the Panthers to 1-4. Mayfield, 20 of 36, 215 yards, no touchdowns, and an interception. I think we can outdo that performance, but let's see here. And look at this, man. Third straight game scoring exactly 35 points. This is odd. We get what I would consider a pretty sizable upset, though, 35-20. 28 over the Niners definitely not complaining with that result let's take a look at the stats here and forgive me I definitely feel like we should be looking at the rushing stats as well it is Cam Newton after all so let me make sure that we are going to start doing that we will most likely do after we look at this kind of like a quarter season check-in point I know with it being 17 games there's not technically a quarter point in the season but after game five I think that's close enough we could have done it after game four but oh my goodness bro Cam Newton perfect pass Passer rating. That's got to be the first time in his career, right? 158.3, 306 yards, five touchdowns, no picks against the Niners defense. How are his rushing stats? And I am going to be interested to see how are his how are his rushing stats in general. This is what's hard because the offense is rolling, but obviously Cam Newton having zero rushing attempts in a game is just not realistic. So I think what we're gonna do is let's look at his stats to this point in the season so far. Let's look at the offense's total stats, and I think we are going to change it up, because honestly, Cam Newton should be running more than he is. Zero attempts a game, that makes no sense whatsoever. So if we got to go Ravens playbook, then so be it. We could go Cardinals as well, but the Cardinals are never very good in Sim. So I think we're going to look here and see stats and awards. The offense has got to be pretty good, right? We are ninth in the league, Cam's 21st in touchdowns, excuse me, 21st in yards, second in touchdowns, sixth in passer rating. So, I mean, it might be foolish, but I, I really want to do it is the thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Cam though, 1100 yards, 13 touchdowns, three interceptions, yeah. If Cam Newton is healthy throughout his career, I mean, realistically in year 12, he could still be doing this. Rushing stats though. Yeah, seven attempts on the year through five games. That's incredibly unrealistic. Yes, he's got one rushing score, but I mean, with those attempts, was it a QB sneak? Honestly. So we're going to change the playbook and hope that that works out for us. We're going to go with the Ravens. And next up on the schedule, we have the LA Rams. Real life, this was another loss for the Panthers. Dropped them to 1-5, 24-10. Uh, PJ Walker got the start in this game, and get this. If you don't remember, he was 10 of 16. 60 passing yards in the game. 60. That is absolutely insane. If we're, if we're below 60 passing yards, then I'm going to end the video. Uh, but I think that we at least make it competitive here. Wouldn't be surprised to see the Rams pull out the win, especially after we got that nice upset over the Niners last week. But let's just see. So definitely going to be something to monitor here. First game with the new playbook does not quite go as planned. We lose 23-17, our lowest scoring effort of the series so far. I am interested to see those Cam rushing yards. We're gonna give it a few games. If we're still struggling for some reason, we'll revert back. But yeah, 17 points, I mean, it is the Rams. They do well in Sim. They've got Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. Let's just take a quick look here though. So Cam Newton, fortunately, more than 60 passing yards. Um, double that, 121, he was really slinging it today. Rushing, seven attempts, that's literally what he had to this, to this point of the season. So I like to see that, seven for 32. I feel that's a little bit more realistic. Not happy with it, but it's better. So there's that. 
And next up on the schedule, we've got the Bucks coming to town. Real life, this was a pretty big upset. 21-3 Panthers. Uh, PJ Walker had an effective game, 16 of 22, 177 yards and two scores. Ground game was also on fire, I should note. Deontay Foreman, 15 for 118. So let's see if we can get it done again. And before we do, I did notice there's a weekly award. So this is the second game this year where Brian Burns has racked up three sacks. We might have defensive player of the year on our hands. I just wanted to note that. Now let's see if we can beat Tampa Bay. So the good news is the offense stepped things back up, scoring 28 points. The bad news is that the defense let up 31. So we take the L there to Brady and the Bucks. I am interested to see though, Cam's numbers had to have been pretty solid, you would think, to put up 28 points against the Bucks defense. Let's take a look here and find out. So Cam Newton, <clears throat> 389 yards of total offense. As for the passing game, 196 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, so pretty clean there. Did not get sacked, like to see that. Uh, rushing, 14 for 49, that's pretty crazy. And one rushing score, so three and a half per carry on the ground. It's not amazing, but hopefully those numbers will get better as the season progresses. Okay, next up on our list, we've got the Atlanta Falcons. If anyone remembers this game, it was an absolute banger. 37-34, the Panthers did take the L in overtime. It sent them to 2-6 on the season. This was the game where DJ Moore caught that bomb at the very end of the game. Um, he threw his helmet off, he got penalized for it, and then the Falcons took it home in overtime. Uh, PJ Walker this game, 19-36, of 36, 317 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Deion Dante Foreman did have three rushing scores, so that I felt was worth noting. Big game on the ground for him. Can we beat the Falcons though? Let's find out. And yes, we do finally get the victory, stopping what had been a little bit of a skid, 28 to 20. So looking like another solid game for the offense. Let's go ahead and look at the stats. So 369 yards of total offense for the Panthers in the passing game. Cam Newton, passer rating north of 100. Not many yards, just 165. Two touchdowns, one pick. He does get sacked once. Uh, rushing, 12 carries for 49 yards. I like that he's getting involved in the run game. I feel that will make his end of season numbers a little bit more realistic. And Cam Newton was never really like a 4,000, 5,000 yard passer. Not that many players are 5,000 yard passers, but still, he really got it done in the run game. He can pass it too, don't get me wrong, but I mean, he wasn't consistently putting up 300 plus yard passing games is what I'm trying to say here. But regardless, we're moving on with a victory. Next up, we've got the Cincinnati Bengals. Anyone who had Joe Mixon in fantasy football this year, you will remember this game fondly. This was Mixon's five touchdown game as the Bengals destroyed the Panthers 42-21. Baker Mayfield made his long-awaited comeback in this game, going 14 of 20, 155 yards, two touchdowns. So pretty clean overall. Honestly, the quarterback play is not really what lost the game for this team. It was Joe Mixon running all over this defense. Let's hope that we can prevent that this week and get ourselves above 500. Okay, unfortunately, we come crashing back down to earth, 19 to 14. Bit of an ugly day for both offenses. Unfortunately, ours was just a little bit uglier. So let's see what caused us to score only 14 points in this game, our lowest output of the season so far. So here are the numbers through the air, and this was definitely a game to forget for Cam Newton. Uh, passer rating of 49, 184 yards, one touchdown, three picks, yikes. Anything on the ground for him, 14 for 74, okay, but still, man, yeah, that's not going to get it done. Mixon didn't score five touchdowns at least, but still, not happy with that one bit. The good news is we've got a good opportunity to bounce back here. The Falcons are coming in with a good record, but they're definitely beatable on paper. Real life, this was a Thursday night football game for the Panthers. They won 25 to 15, bit of an ugly affair there. Uh, PJ Walker, 10 of 16 for 108 yards through the air. You just look at these numbers and man, the Panthers have just not had anything going through the air this season. You gotta feel for guys like DJ Moore, um, Robbie Anderson, who his temper tantrum, which probably was warranted given how this team has played, um, that feels like ages ago. But regardless, can we get the win over the Falcons, get back up to 500? Let's find out. Okay, so we've got some work to do heading into week 11. We take another L here, 28-21. We are now two games short of 500, four and six now for the Panthers. 
Don't love to see it. We did do a little bit better on offense this week, but defense is just still struggling, man. I don't get it. You would think that we would be able to do better than we have. It just has not quite gone that way. We let up 28 points to the Falcons. How did Cam do? 226 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. I might give it one more game before we go back, honestly. I hate to say that. I feel goofy doing that. Uh, Cam does get a rushing score, so there's that, 10 for 46. I am torn because we were doing pretty well with the Panthers' playbook with Matt Rule. It's just Matt Rule, we know that playbook wasn't designed for Cam Newton. He was not hired with the intention of Cam Newton ever really being his quarterback. So that is where I'm struggling a little bit here. And of course, we get the team whose playbook we're borrowing right now. Now, they're 6-3, and three, so clearly this playbook can work. We've got ourselves a mobile quarterback in Cam Newton, just like the Ravens do in Lamar Jackson. We gotta pull off a miracle here. We need the upset, we gotta get ourselves to five and six. And the good news is I don't think we can do worse than we did in real life. This was an ugly one. 13-3 Ravens final score. Mayfield was 21 of 33, 196 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. We gotta do better than that. And we do perform better than that. Look at that, man. Just when we need it most, we make a statement. Beating the Ravens 31-7, to man. Best performance of the season by this team. A complete team victory. Defense finally stepping it up. I knew that they could do it. And let's just see here. 31-7. to I love to see it. 318 yards of offense. Not a ton for us by any means, but still. Uh, Newton, two touchdowns, an interception. Just 110 yards, but still. Lamar, we force him to a pretty bad game, two interceptions. Uh, Newton gets 80 rushing yards on the ground. Let's see those three broken tackles. And what I will say is at the end of the season, we'll see McCaffrey's stats are going to be absolutely insane. You might even be able to see them here for just a brief second. At this point in the year, he should be leading the league in rushing yards. He is. He's got 1,100 right now. So, I mean, I know Newton's stats aren't prolific by any means, but that one-two duo of him and McCaffrey on the ground, that is incredible. Now we've got the Broncos. And hopefully this game against the Broncos goes pretty similar to how it did in real life as the Panthers won this one 23-10. This was Darnold's first start. He went 11 of 19, 164 yards, a score, no interceptions. This is one of those games uh, Russ was getting yelled at by one of his teammates on the sidelines. This is where things really started to get ugly for the Broncos. Panthers were 4-8 after this game, so hopefully we can continue excelling past that as the playoff push is starting, guys. We got to start racking up some wins here let's see if we can get it done and good news heading into the bye week we win the game 24 to 20 so we are headed into week 13 500 right now six and six right in the thick of things let's look at the playoff picture i don't think that we would be in right now we've got two teams ahead of us in the south right now yeah if we're not the seven seed i'm yeah we're not the six or the seven i see the bucks there as the six seed We've got some serious catching up to do. Falcons are the two seed right now, which is incredible to think about. That's just insane to me, but we've got a couple games here. We need to get back on track. Let's look at the stats from our Broncos game, though. So Cam Newton through the air. Two touchdowns, two interceptions, 215 passing yards. Okay. In a victory, we'll take it. He was our leading rusher. 16 carries for 81 yards. So he's that dual threat, man. He's getting it done. Like to see it. And we've got a victory heading into the bye week. That's what matters most to us right now. And since we're at the bye week, why not check in on the stats? So offense is 11th in the league, still pretty good. Cam Newton, 27th in yards, 12th in touchdowns. McCaffrey is first in the league in rushing yards, 12th in touchdowns. Defense is 25th in the league. So that's why we're struggling right now. That's why we're 500. It's not Cam's fault. 2,400 yards, 23 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 201 yards per game. McCaffrey, 1,100 yards, 4.9 a carry with eight scores. Newton does have almost 500 on the ground now and three scores. So that's what we wanted to see. I think the offense is good enough. 11th in the league, that's playoff caliber. It's just the defense that's really struggling and holding us back right now. 25th in the league, 
there's not much that we can do about it, unfortunately. This unit should be performing better than that. We have more talent than 25th, but it is what it is. Next week, we've got the Seahawks. Let's get into that one. And here are the Seattle Seahawks. We're starting to get into games now that are much more recent, more fresh in the mind. This one I remember was a good win for the Panthers. Got them to 5-8, 30-24 over the Seahawks. Darnold went 14-24, of 24, 120 yards and one score. Let's see if we can repeat that and get a similar result. Okay, so not the best news here. We lose it 28 to 22. Don't love to see that. Every game is starting to be must win at this point. I think we probably are going to have to win out if we want a shot at the playoffs. I think maybe one more loss would be acceptable, but we've got four games left. Two of them are in the division. One is against the Bucks, who we are fighting for a playoff spot right now. So it's going to be really close. But 28-22 is the final score. Newton has a clean game. 195 yards, two scores, no picks. On the ground, he's 11 for 46. So that's your ball game. Again, defense just not doing what we need them to do. 22 points is, it's good enough to win a game. I've seen far too many games in this series where our defense is just not getting it done. But we've got the Steelers next. And hopefully things go better for us in this game than they did in real life. This was a 24-16 Steelers win. Darnold was 14 of 23, 225 yards and an interception. We gotta hope. We gotta really hope that we win this game, guys. Again, I think we gotta win out. One loss would be the absolute max, I think, and even then it's iffy. So fingers crossed that we get the dub here. Okay, so things are starting to look bleak, guys. We're six and eight, 34, 28 L. Not Cam's fault, it's the defense. The defense is just letting us down. I wanna look at the standings here, though, in the NFC. Do we realistically have any chance at the seven seed right now? We got, let's see here, Eagles, Commanders. Okay, so NFC East is going to have at least two teams in there. NFC South is going to have at least two teams in there. There's your NFC East, NFC West. Who else are we competing with right now? So it's going to be the 49ers, who are 8-6. and six. We would need them to lose two of their last three. I don't know, guys. All we can do is win the games that we can control, go 3-0 to end the video, and hope for the best. But man, what a bummer here. We had to look at the stats and see what happened. Why are we not finding success against the Steelers? How are we letting Mitch Trubisky or Kenny Pickett put up this much offense on us? It's crazy. Kenny Pickett. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Cam has a good game. Three touchdowns, one pick. And he does pick up 39 on the ground. 119 for McCaffrey. Najee Harris also over 100 yards. This defense is a joke, guys. That is the fact of the matter. That's the story of the video. This defense is just not getting it done at all. Next up, we've got the Lions. This was a 37-23 victory. It'll be a miracle if we can hold these guys under 23 points. Darnold went 15 of 22, 250 yards and a score. Let's hope for the best. We're probably not playoff bound, but we can end the year on a high note at least. Let's hope. Okay, and we do get the victory, 20 to 13 over the Lions. So that's positive, I suppose, at this point in the year. Let's take a look at the stats as our defense finally decides that they want to step things up against Detroit. Let's just take a look here. Newton, how did he do? We've got two games left to go. So Cam Newton, he goes 199 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions. Goff doesn't score. Newton has his first 100-yard rushing game. Like to see that. So he, he could be at 1,000 yards by the end of the season. I think he'll be pretty close to it. We've got two games left to go, though, guys, and we're almost there. And next up, we've got the Bucks. Now, this was pretty much for the NFC South in real life, although here in Madden, as we called it early on in the video, the Bucks are far too good in this game to be competing with the likes of the Panthers, especially with our defense. This was a 30-24 comeback victory for the Bucks. It sent the Panthers to 6-10 on the year, so we're at least better than that. Uh, Darnold went 23 of 37, 341 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick, so big game for him. I doubt Newton puts up those numbers, but hopefully we can turn the tide and get the victory here. Okay, so at this point, I think it's probably safe to say we're eliminated. We take the 33-21 L here to 
to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's look at the stats. So I'm starting to think that playbook change might have been a bit of a mistake. New in 203 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Although hard to compete with Brady putting up 380 through the air, four touchdowns, two picks. Just not much you can do with that. Uh, Newton, only 16 rushing yards, 1.8 a carry, absolutely pathetic. And finally, we've got the Saints. They're coming in 5-11. Real life, this matchup is still to be determined, but it really doesn't matter a whole lot for us at this point. So let's go ahead, let's rip the Band-Aid off, and let's get to either 7-10 or 8-9. See how the season plays out for us. We are going to end the season with a record of... Any day now, EA... We take the L. So we finish the year 7 and 10. Disappointing, very disappointing, but let's look at the stats one last time here. And then we will look at the year end stats as well. We'll take a look and see. Uh, we don't care about the playoff schedule because we're not in it. Uh, we do want to look though at our schedule. If we could get to the regular season, week 18. Here it is. Okay. So Cam Newton, let's look at his stats. We did put up 409 yards of total offense. Two touchdowns, a pick, 238 yards, 87 yards rushing and a score, and that's your season, guys. Let's look at the regular season stats, though, see how we performed defensively. And funny enough, if the Panthers beat the Saints, this will be the exact same record that they end the season with. So ultimately, Cam Newton didn't make much of a difference to how this team performed. Now what I will say is that the defense in real life was much better than this defense. Offense comes crashing down though, 21st in the league, yikes. Defense is 16th, so they stepped it up to end the year. This offense just, for whatever reason, fell apart. It was like the anti-Panthers. I don't know what happened, but Cam Newton, 3,500 yards, 32 touchdowns, 14 picks, passer rating of 103. I mean, that's not bad. That's not awful by any means. Also, when you factor in the rushing performance, he did have 757 yards and four scores. McCaffrey just balled, 1,400 yards and 10 scores. How did our receivers do? So we didn't have a thousand yard receiver, unfortunately. Uh, Richard Higgins though, he did have good chemistry with Newton, 12 scores, so there's that. But yeah, that's your season. And here is your season recap, as it is the Bills World Champions 27-24 over the Commanders. Josh Allen wins regular season MVP and Super Bowl MVP, breaking that curse. I don't know when the last player to win both of those was. It's been a while for sure. Uh, that award is definitely tainted in recent memory. But yeah, man, that's your season. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know this is a little bit out of the norm for what my normal content is. So a rebuild will be coming next. But if you did enjoy this, please comment. Let me know your thoughts. I have had thoughts about doing this with other players, such as putting a prime Matt Ryan and Julio back on the Falcons, I thought would be interesting just off the top of my head. Um, putting Aaron Rodgers back in his prime. Although the Packers, he already is rated fairly highly. So I don't know how much of a difference that would make but regardless please like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in what will hopefully be a more successful video next time around